question for you uh, with regards to the weight of the pick, the thickness of the pick, whatever. Does that influence or impact uh, how difficult or easy it is <clears throat> to um, to hit all the strings you're looking for if you're strumming on the upstroke on the uh -huh. if you see what I mean I, you yes. when you when you strum pinball wizard okay you're you're it sounds great both on your on 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 your down strum and on the up strum I mm -hmm. find that you know my down strum's okay but on the up strum it seems like I'm only I'm only catching you know the the yeah. upper E string uh, and the B string or, or something like that, which mm. I get away with, but it just doesn't sound like a full strum. Yeah. And I'm wondering if, if a lighter pick would, would, would that help that or not? This is a great question, Rusty. And it has come up occasionally with my students. Um, but I got to say, I'm not sure. Let me, let me play for a second. I used to do this all the time when I first started teaching. Student ask a question and I'm like, I have no idea. Let me watch what I do. And then I, I kind of like look over my own shoulder and study myself. So um, let me try that. Now I'm gonna over grip for a second, see what happens. Okay, so definitely when I grip my pick too hard, um, my, my upstrum tends to kind of bounce off those treble strings and miss the other strings. I should say though, before I go any further, that you don't want your upstrum to sound exactly like your downstrum. Obviously the strings are going to be hit in reverse order, but also in the general pulse of the music, the downstrums tend to come on the beat. You you want that there to be kind of an ebb and flow to your strumming. So it sounds pleasing for the upstrum to be more gentle, hit, hit primarily treble strings. But um, I, I hear you, Rusty, that uh, what you're hearing is not pleasant, that it's, you're just hitting first or second strings. And I get that, that, you know, you'd want, that you'd want to improve that. I'm going to guess that, um, that's resulting from a little too hard grip on your pick, perhaps in combination with using a thicker pick than is best suited for you. And so there, there are two solutions to that. You can try gripping the pick more lightly, but if you find that you're logging airtime with your pick every 30 seconds, um, going to a lighter gauge pick uh, will get you the same results. You just might not get as great a tone with that lighter pick because of the louder attack. I will, I will try that, Rob. Th thank you. That's, uh, that's good guidance. Wonderful. Hey, I hope you liked this lesson. If you did, please click the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel. And if you really want the good stuff, become a member of Heartwood Guitar. You can click the link below to learn more. Hope to see you there. Take care.